Hey everybody, MBG back again today with issue 21 of the new White Dwarf. Uh, this is a great issue. It's got all sorts of cool new stuff in it, uh, looted wagon rules and things like that. And a little spoiler, in the back they say something about uh, the biggest orcs you ever did see will be in, in the next issue. So hopefully the Mega Knobs will finally rear their orky heads and we can get some sort of uh, confirmation on that I'm sure here in the the near future probably early next week but in the meantime we do have the new looted wagons uh, and the new clan packs for the both the mech as well as the orc pain boy I'm not exactly sure why they're priced the way they are it doesn't really make sense you've got uh, at least to me I'm sure it makes sense to somebody you get the orc mech at 21 and then the pain boy at 26 which I would think the mech would have been more but um, maybe with the new uh, orc big mech with shock attack gun coming out they figured I don't know. I don't know what to figure. But anyways, uh, it's an <laughs> it's another great orky issue. I guess we're on week four of orc releases, and it looks like we're gonna get a week five with the mega knobs if that is uh, confirmed here soon. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, there's a great uh, article in here on this battle report: orcs versus tyranids, and there's some interesting uh, interesting army lists, so to speak. And we'll get to that. Another great paint splatter where they actually paint up the big mech with the shock attack gun. So uh, there was some cool stuff in there for that as well and then we've also got the rules for the looted wagons which um if you saw the spoilers er earlier in the week it's kind of i mean it's it's cool to see and it's it's a neat kit but you can definitely tell they kind of phoned in the, the the rules themselves because they just kind of cut and pasted the gorkonaut stuff over and uh <laughs> I, I don't know this issue seemed a little lackluster as well uh, there was a, a couple of grammatical errors as far as like what pages what was on and it was just it just seemed a little choppy at, at, at times and they're also this is usually the week that they come out and they they have a, a lack of content so to speak and uh, you know they they kind of cram some water ring stuff in here because they don't really have much else to talk about you know just the orbs and hey let's throw some water rings in there but you know that being said it's still cool to see their stuff sometimes. So now we've got the two uh, the two new releases, the Pain Boy and the and the Mech itself, which are going to be you know single 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 pose uh, clan pack kind of deal. You know, not not a whole lot of conversion potential there, unless some of them are you know maybe the head separate or something like that, which is always hopeful. Uh, this is the obviously the confirmed art, uh, the Rim and Swallow art that we saw earlier. I guess maybe a month and a half ago, which you know it didn't it didn't make sense that they wouldn't use this because it's obviously a very nice piece and it goes along with the theme of all the codex art we've seen so far. So that'll be out next week uh, for release, I guess the 28th. I want to say. Uh, then there's the Orc War Boss edition, which I thought was pretty neat because they got some uh, some brass uh, brass etched uh, brass metal or etched metal, excuse me objective tokens which also came with the collector's edition uh, I love those things I use them all the time in all my games and I think that was the neatest part about the collector's edition in my opinion I really like the look of this and the books that come in it it's got like the three uh, the two books and then you got the wallet uh, prints of all the orc books throughout time which was pretty neat to see because a lot of people may not remember some of the stuff that came out in the late 80s or early 90s but there they are for everyone to see and share uh, then if we flip forward to uh, the actual battle report of the Tyranids versus the Orcs, there's some really neat stuff in here. And it was interesting to read because first off, you've got uh, all Orcs, but not Grots of course, have Furious Charge, which adds to their punch when they get in a scrap. Uh, so, And then there's something called the Here We Go rule, which according to this is at least they can reroll one of the dice to determine the charge range. So I'm like, hmm, that isn't exactly Fleet. So it's got to be a component of the rule, and maybe it's uh, it's a rule that has actually a lot more to it. So I'm sure we'll see a lot more of that in the coming weeks, uh, if not you know next week, because the the codex will be out by then. <laughs> um, then there was this, uh, there was something in here where they talk about the army list being on page 31. The army list were not on page 31 because someone looked at them. They're on page 29, of course, because that makes total sense. But hey, I you know little stuff like that. I guess they moved things around. They forgot to edit it. It's easy to do, easy mistakes to make. But hey, you know uh, five minutes or less of reading, you can pick up on some of these things, like I did. Now uh, there's also something in here where they talked about the new mob rule, uh, which looks like it's a chart, kind of similar to. Uh, instinctive behavior which I thought was interesting because before it used to be you know you just checked on leadership and if it was 
uh, over, you were fearless and all that stuff, and it just it just seemed good. You know, if you're over a certain amount, you're automatically fearless, basically. But now it looks like it's a chart, so that's that's interesting to see. Now, when we get to the back here, oh, and they talk more about um, some different things as far as like some of the uh, the actual units themselves, a little filler article, and then you get to the Escape from Goblin Town article. Uh, the paint splatter, and I actually apologize there, it wasn't the Big Mac. The Big Mac was uh, with Shock Attack on was actually last issue, which is really neat because you can see how they painted all the um, all the little gobs and, and uh, things like that on there as well, like all the different little energy crystals and, and the canvas bag where it was, uh, the, I call it the Hoover the Hoover bag as they suck up all the, uh, the little grots and unfortunate uh, things laying around, pebbles and things like that. This one's kind of cool because it's got like how to paint pants, which you really wouldn't expect to see for the orcs. That's more organic type stuff. Okay, and then you've got the uh, aprons right here as well. Some more organic stuff you wouldn't really expect to see. Bandages, teeth, which are always a challenge, and it's kind of outside of the color palette for, you know, when you're painting armor and skin and things like that. Last thing you want to do is go back and paint teeth. And it's actually a little, you know, you go from a darker color to a lighter color. So it's some of the tougher stuff to paint on orcs, uh, besides like the yellows and some of the, some of the lighter reds that you can paint over things. Then you got the vials and the straps and things like that. So very neat uh, article that you, I didn't really expect to see. And it really, uh, you know, if you if you follow these these t techniques and tips here, you'll really advance your painting because anybody can paint, you know, the green and you can paint the armors and things like that. And speaking about armor, next week there's a tutorial on how to paint armor. I wonder what's going to be coming out next week. Fingers crossed, mega <laughs> mega armor knobs finally, 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 finally. <sighs> That'd be so good. Then we get to the rules for the looted wagons themselves, which there was a bunch of hype about this, and this is pretty cool. Uh, White Dwarf exclusive, you can only get this uh, this actual um, data sheet here in the White Dwarf. I guess they're not going to have it in um, the, the codex itself. I think there's also going to be a kit that you can purchase on Games Workshop's website where it's like uh, a, the Lehman Rust chassis and then the upgrade sprue for the... Um, uh, battle wagon as well because it looks like that's the kill cannon thing there and then you got the front so that'll be interesting to see uh you know looking at it i i mean it it's pretty neat i mean it's very low point i think it was uh, yeah 37 points and then you can get it give it a death roller so if it does the same thing it's going to be all sorts of uh semi-guided rockets flying around the tabletop because it's a uh, open topped vehicle so you can go your normal six six to twelve if you want flat out six but then on that initial 12, uh, at the beginning, you know, beginning of the movement, you can do the tank shock attack. And that would be interesting to see if they keep that roller the same, because cool stuff there, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, the one thing I did want to point out to you, uh, finally got to the battle report, the actual army list for the battle report in here. And like I was in, as I suspected, there's, it's actually, it doesn't give you a breakdown on force org, whether it's combined armed uh, detachments or whether it's allies and things like that. But basically, you can tell just by glancing at this, you got four elites, you know, this many heavy supports here. So they don't tell you exactly why you can do that. I don't know if it's, you know, the detachment they took or if it's something interior to the Orc Codex, but they also took four elites over here. So I don't know. Maybe they're just playing on bound and that's just the way they do things now. Who knows, really? Uh, it is Game Store Shop and uh, sometimes we all scratch, scratch our head at the... Uh, at that <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this one guys i uh, hope you enjoyed my video review of the newest white dwarf from games workshop uh this is week four of the orc release and issue 21 dated 21st june 2014 make sure you stay in the trenches subscribe to this youtube channel check out the blog spiky spikingbitsblog.com and listen to our podcast forgenarrative.com